Hello. In this video I'm going to copy files from FUBAR 2000 to a different device. In this case it's going to be the Amunsa MP3 player. I use a component called One Way Sync to do this. This is an extension to FUBAR and is a handy way to make sure that you can listen to your music whilst on the go. Check out my other video on components. For this video I'm going to assume that you have One Way Sync installed. From the file menu, choose One Way Sync and you'll see two options, Copy Music and Configure. You need to choose Configure. There are three panels for the configuration. The first allows the setup of your encoding. I'm using LAME to convert Maya files. This has to be installed on your computer if you intend to convert music to MP3 as part of the sync process. On this panel you can also specify the file name of your cover art. Mainly I use cover.jpg or cover.png. I don't generally have to change anything on this panel. Click Devices in the tree panel on the left to show the settings for destination devices and folders and device commands and options. The destination folders are listed in the box at the top. You can click New to add more. All devices and drives you have previously connected are shown, even if some devices are not connected to your computer at the moment. I find the Devices and Commands section a little bit confusing, being honest. I think it allows a very flexible way to copy files, but it's a little bit over complicated for my needs. Still, you can see I have a Copy Music command set up, and it has options like what the destination is, what else apart from music to copy, what playlists to use, and what to do if some files are no longer present in the selection being copied. For example, you might have a playlist called Top Singles of the Week that you change regularly. You can set up several device commands and use the drop-down to choose between them. Lastly, click on Tasks in the tree panel on the left this section is important because it changes the way the music is stored on the destination device. A list of title formatting scripts is presented in the first box. These represent how files are copied and what folders the music is put into. You can have different sync tasks that use different title formatting scripts. This is again very flexible, but perhaps a little over complicated for my needs. As you can see, I've set up two sync tasks. The first is called New Stuff, for copying new music released in the last three years, which I've represented by having three different playlists. The second is called Car, and is a curated list of songs I think my family would like to hear in the car. These are in a playlist I've called The Road. When I change the sync task, you can see that the title formatting script is different. New stuff includes a disk number that isn't there in the car task. I'm going to run the sync for new stuff and then we'll take a look at how files are copied onto the TF card. To run the sync task I select File, One Way Sync and choose the option Copy Music. We'll see progress bars appear. Two progress bars appear. The top bar shows the progress through the playlists and the bottom bar shows progress in the current playlist. If you're only syncing one playlist, the progress on the top bar won't be shown until all the songs in that single playlist have been synced. The more music you're syncing, the longer this step takes. I haven't embedded cover art into the files and when I've tried this option it seemed to take a long time and actually I gave up 
so I don't have this option ticked when I sync my files. When I browse the TF card, you can see that the folder structure includes a folder for disk number. When I've ripped music from CDs to my library, I haven't been consistent in recording the disk number. It sometimes exists and sometimes doesn't. A lot of my albums are just a standalone album and the disk number field will be blank. And this is represented by an underscore as you can see here. The folder structure is therefore deeper than it really is needs to be. However, as we shall see when I view the music on the MP3 player, this has no detrimental effect. In the comments of my Amunsa MP3 player video, I've had people mention that the songs don't play in the order as listed on the album information. So let's look at an example. I've got an album here that we can use. The song's correct order is displayed here on the website, and as you can see, it starts with three songs. The first is Femme Fatale, then it's It's a Sin, and then it's Run. But if I look at the MP3 player, the songs appear in alphabetical order, which is Alone, Buried in the Past, and Desenchante. If we go and look at the title formatting script in the Sync Tasks and Options, we can see that Track Number is one of the pieces of information to use. But now when I look at the album in FUBAR 2000, I can see that this album doesn't have track numbers. So looking at the files on the TF card, we see there's just an underscore in the file name where the track number ought to be. The remedy for this is to add track numbers to the songs in FUBAR 2000. So let's do this. Information like artist name, song title, track number and the like is called metadata. To see the metadata for a song in FUBAR 2000, you select a song and hold the ALT key down and press ENTER. To look at a metadata for a number of songs, at once just hold down the SHIFT key as you select them and then hold down ALT and press ENTER. Now I'll add track number metadata to all the songs for this album. In this example you can see that the track title is also not present as metadata, but FUBAR 2000 is cleverly using the file name as the track title. I usually add the song title as metadata if it's not there, so I'll stop the recording and skip ahead until it's all done, so you don't have to watch me adding the metadata. Now that the metadata, including the track number, exists, I'm going to once again sync the music to the TF card. Let's have a look now at how the songs appear on the TF card. As you can see, the track numbers are appearing. Let's see if this now means that the songs are displayed on the MP3 player in the correct order. So I'm going to turn on the MP3 player. And we're going to um, have a look at uh, the music on here and we're just going to go down to artists and we're going to find band exit eden and now you can see that the songs will play in the correct order because they now have the metadata telling the player what order to play the songs in <laughs> 